Keeper! Keeper! I don't want you! I don't want to know! Do you hear me? I don't want to know about magic anymore! Keep off! Keep off! Hush now, young Will. Hush now! It is happening. And you will have to accept it. Who's there? What's the matter with you? Why won't you answer the phone? Who's there? Don't touch it. Catherine Lloyd here. Who is it you want? Catherine? Yes. It's Evan. Evan? Your cousin, Evan Leah. You remember me? I... I remember. I don't believe you do. <laughs> it's been ten years. You were only a little child. I was six. You're coming here? Well, Mum's not at home right now. But I'll tell her that Evan Lear is on his way. And I'll see you next Tuesday. You'll be welcome, I'm sure. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. You're a funny lot. Why didn't you answer the poor man? It wasn't for us. Sometimes you can be very, very stupid. What's wrong with Catherine? She's never cross. There's, there's terror hanging over me. What is it? Why me? You are special. Go away! Leave me alone! You can't escape your inheritance. You want to be free. You were pleased when you discovered your power like other boys. You were pleased to see your sister? You were pleased to save your cousin Emmeline from that spell? Oh, yes, yes, then. But now I'm sick of it all. Sick of the power. It makes me so tired. You learn to conserve your energy. But can't you see? I don't want to. I don't want to know about any of it. It is not possible to go back with John Gwyn. Why can't you see? Why can't you understand? You started it all. No, I simply opened the door. Your power was always there. But I'm scared. Always scared. That I'll do something wrong. No, heck. I can never just be normal. Gwyn. What should I do, Ariane? When I'm so tired of the magic. Sorry, sorry, I'm not tired of you. Oh, don't forget nine big and right. Down and right. Dad, can I come? You ready? I'm in a hurry. I'll be down now. Over the list. Right. Yeah. 
missing me. We couldn't touch the telephone at all. But Catherine could, and she spoke to him. She actually spoke to him. What I don't understand is why we felt so, so awful. It was only a cousin, after all. His name was Evan Lee. Ah. She shouldn't have spoken. She shouldn't have answered the phone. She's caught. Caught? Trapped. Oh, I don't know. Gwyn? Something's gone into the house. And it's still here. Sort of smouldering. How do you know? My hands, remember? They, they tingle and ache, warning me. Mia, will you come back home with me? Now. I think I'm going to need you. <laughs> Mr. Nine, will you? It's a bacon. Can't you take it, Dad? Well, you've got younger legs than me. Besides, Nine likes to see you. Yes, but... What's the matter with you? You used to live in Nine's pocket. Now she complains she hardly ever sees you. One day. I love this room. Well, that's more than Gwyn does. Hardly ever comes here anymore. My cousin might be coming to stay. Your cousin? That's nice. I don't remember him, but Catherine does. His name's Evan Clear. Evan Clear. Coming home. Well, now we shall see. What do you mean, Nan? Just, we shall see. Poor, injured souls. Stop talking in riddles, Nine. I'm sick of them. Gwyn is... I know, I know. But he can't avoid what he must do. You go too. You can help if anyone can. one of the magic gifts Nine gave me. But why is it so terrible? There's a demon trapped inside it. The story of this horse is more than 2,000 years old. Go on. Well, Bender Gaedfran, son of Llyr and the king of Britain, had a sister called Branwen. And she was the fairest maiden in all Britain. And two half-brothers called Nishen and Evnishen. Well, the king of Ireland came to marry Branwen definition was furious because he wanted her to stay in Britain. Was he in love with her then? Who can tell? But in his rage, he maimed the King of Ireland's horses. He cut off their ears, their tails and their eyelids. Just like this poor thing. Because of the shame of it, Bender Gavran gave the King of Ireland a present. The cauldron of rebirth, where a dead man could be born again. But this didn't appease the Irish King. So when he got back to Ireland with Branwen, he abused her. Bender Gaedron and the two brothers heard of this, so they went over to Ireland to rescue him. The King of Ireland planned to kill them, but Evnishen killed all the Irish warriors first. Well, the Irish realised that they didn't have enough soldiers to fight the British, so they began to throw all their dead warriors back into the cauldron so that they could be reborn to fight again. Evnishen understood that this ghostly army could never, ever be defeated. So, he lay down amongst the Irish dead and was thrown into the cauldron, where he burst into four pieces, and his heart burst as well. But what has all this got to do with us now? Somewhere there's a connection. If I could just see. Gwyn, is it Evnishen trapped in this horse? Yes. That phone call. Oh, I wish this weather break puts me all on edge. It does. Are you all right? It's the weather, ma'am. It's getting in us, too. Well, tea's ready. It's your favourite cake, Mia. That'll make you feel better. How do 
young man, I don't know what to do. Guard it for a while, will you? Can't say I blame you. This weather. Oh, no bacon for me, man. I'm too hot. I'll eat yours. Cut it in half, Dorothy. Quiet, you two. Let's have some peace and quiet for breakfast. There is. For your mother. She's a good girl. <gasps> Evan Clear. Who's Evan Clear? Your mother's cousin. What does he want? He says he telephoned here the other day. I turned up a message. Sorry, I forgot. Forgot? Yes, I did. Don't look at me like that. You should have reminded me. It wasn't my message. You wanted to keep it yourself. Don't be so stupid. Look, will you stop bickering? What's got into you lot? It's the weather, Dad. He wants to come and stay. Stay? What, here? Oh, no. He's been wounded. Wounded? Is he a soldier, then? Oh, now the writer's gone funny and I can hardly make it he out. He says, if yes. you've got no room, I can go elsewhere. Quite right. We are rather overcrowded here. Oh. Can't turn away. And we don't really know him. Of course we do. He's family. Ten years. He needs peace, he says. Well, he should really have a room to himself. But I'll... Well, what about Yola's room? And then Yola can come back in with me. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> I sold you in your room. That's great. Do you think he'll keep his gun under his bed? Guns? There'll be no guns in my house. Right, everybody upstairs and let's get ready for school. <laughs> Called no, did I? Queen's a soldier. No. What's wrong with being a soldier? Depends on the soldier. What do you mean, Gwen? All this thunder. Why doesn't it break? As if something was waiting. That's it. Waiting. Brother's son. That's Di, my half brother. Di and I had the same mother, but different fathers. So Di isn't too young, then. He was a baby when my parents married. So my father adopted him legally and gave him his name. I see. I had two sons, Emrys and Evan. So where was Emrys now? He died when he was a little boy. An accident. He was very different from Evan. He should have been the soldier. Evan was the gentle one. Yeah, some nice chops there for you. Oh, dear father. Katrin, you better come in now. It's time for tea. I don't know, that Irish boy, what's his name? Michael McGoohan, loafing about on his horse, and Katrin is out there with him. I can't love on a horse, Dad. Catherine, don't be cheeky. Ma'am, where's Evans Station? The letter said it was somewhere in Northern Ireland. Right, that's enough about Evan. We're having our tea now. Oh.
I'm Evan Fleer. I, I know. I've been waiting for you. You brought the stone then? Yeah. I got here just in time to save a soaking. Mia, yeah, what are you up to? It's heaven, isn't it? Get the money. That's me. <gasps> <laughs> well, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, a bit older. This is Catherine. Ah, Catherine, the musical one. She took my message. No, oh, she took it and forgot to tell me. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing your uniform, Evan? Because I'm on leave. Did you bring a gun? On holiday. How did you get wounded? Was it a bomb? Perhaps. You must know. Mm. Leave heaven in peace now. Did you ever kill any men? Right. No more questions. Neris, show your cousin to his room. I go too, because it used to be mine. <laughs> Mia, you are a one. Always imagining. He is, though. I can't a story. Nan, what exactly happened to his brother? To Emrys? Oh, it's hard to talk about it. Please. He fell. Out of a tree. Emrys was the brave one. The one we always watched. Why? I suppose... We loved him for his brave ways. And where he led, Evan followed. And we loved to climb trees. And Evan would watch, too frightened to climb. And then Emrys would taunt him. But that's not fair. That's how it was. And then one day, they'd been gone a long time. And I was sent to find them. I thought they were play acting. He never cried. He just walked away and left me calling for his mum. The next day, he came back to the tree. I watched him. And when he came down, I asked him why he did that. He said, I climbed higher, Betty. I climbed higher than Emrys. And then I started to cry. He put his arm around me and he said, don't cry, Betty. Evan is you. He was such a good boy, gentle. And in the end, he went for a soldier. I'm sure it's because that's what Evan just wanted to be. Evan here? Hello. Oh, Evan, how lovely Hi. to see you. And you? Well, you haven't changed. Well, and you, you're just the same. <laughs> Where are you off to, good young Gwyn? To see this cousin of Nia's, Evan Fleer. So the soldier's come back to finish his story. How is he? Oh, he's been wounded. Poor creature, poor injured soul. Is he better then? Is he? He's sort of convalescing. Yeah, from more than the wound. He's going to need your help, Gwyn. Can't you leave things alone, Nine? They won't leave us alone. I know this man. He's come back for a reason. To see his relatives? No, more than that. You know. You're the magician. Let it go, can't you? No, how can I? He's going to need your help, Gwyn. Whether he knows it or not, he's going to need your help. What 
Sergeant! I climbed that tree once. I won. You want to see him twin? No, I can't. I've got to get my hands in the right mood. Should we show you a mountain, Evan? Your mountain, Mia. I knew it long before you did. But yes, I'd love to see it again. I saw a kite yesterday. A kite? Yeah. Oh, please. We can look for it. Evan, Hi. I'm going home to make some tea. Would you like some? Oh, do you mind, Mia? You can follow us later. Maybe. Come on. Ah, oh, I forgot my binoculars, didn't I? We'll need them to see the kite properly. I fetched them, Gwyn. Oh, thanks, Yola. They're in my bedroom, on the big beam. Please hurry, Ariane, when? There's not much time. Take him. Daliuch him. We've got him. No bones broken. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I'm very much alive. 
Come on, Evan, you can eat another slice. <laughs> no, not for me, Glennis. I'll burst. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, then, your love? Yes, please. <laughs> Too thick, then. Thanks. What's this, then? Hardy, is it? Yes, it is, in a way, Ava. You remember Evan, please? No, I don't remember. Oh, come on, now. You used to help the Lloyds with the land. I said, didn't I? I don't remember. Ten years is a long time. Would you like a cup of tea, Ivor? Now? It's milking time, isn't it? Where's Gwyn? He's upstairs. I'll but, touch him. Uh, well, in five minutes, so there's no pocket money. I'll help you with the cows, Ivor. I've not forgotten how. What? Ariane will read it well. That is the power. Did you find the horse? The way. What did you do? I trapped him in the web. Ariane had showed me where he was, under the chestnut tree. It was Avnishen. He'd escaped from the wooden horse, but something went wrong. It was Evan under the tree. I saw the prince. But I saw Evan. Fell to the ground. I thought he was dead. So what happened? What went wrong? Oh, I hate this magic power. It never seems to go right. Gwen, do you think if we can find that horse? Do you think we can get it right? Where do we look? And will we be in time? Everyone's helping Dad with the cows. Your father doesn't like him. No, but Mam does, and so does Nine. They're besotted. And so are you. Well, he's a bit like a prince. What right sort of prince I am? Where have you been today? You're home early. Nowhere and everywhere. Is that a riddle? Hmm. Could be, but it's not. I've been in the mountains. Climbed and sat and watched the clouds. Fell asleep. Dream. Who is that with Catherine? Michael, your boyfriend. Mm. Can you come out with me tonight, Catherine? Well, I'm not sure. Look, there's a good film on tonight. Oh, but I can't, Michael. Please. Look, I've hardly seen you all week. Dad thinks she's too young to mess out with boys. Especially Michael. Especially Michael. Ta-da. See ya. Hello, Andres. Just seen that soldier of yours again. Oh, him? How's he getting on? All right, I suppose. Look at that car of his. Mm -hmm. What a monstrosity. Like a chariot. He'd look good in a chariot, that Evan. I'd like to paint the man. Would he sit, do you think? You could ask him. Well, uh, maybe. Would I ever truly capture him? Never get those eyes. Always changing. Ah, uh, he's a bit of a mystery. <laughs> See you address Hey, Nanto, how are you doing? <laughs> Silly place to put them. Oh dear, Catri, we had a bad day. What do you mean? Wasn't Michael nice to you? Don't be ridiculous. Let's not have quarrelling in the kitchen. Here. 
Come sit beside me. Tell me about your day. Well? Well, I went to school. Nothing very interesting in that. <laughs> it's a funny. Nothing interesting? No. <laughs> What's it all for when you were wounded there, Van? What did you say, girl? I wondered about your wounds, how awful it must have been. Have you got any scars? There are no wounds, no scars, nothing, stupid girl. Understand? Nothing, nothing, nothing! Perhaps I am. You never will. No? And do you believe in the gods you read about in the myths, Neil? Perhaps I do. Are you two having a game? It could be a game. Do you know the old legends, Catherine? Neil's the expert. Have you forsaken words for music? Branwen, the beautiful sister of the King of Britain. You are like Branwen to me. Oh, says I'll broken. Who could do such a thing? How can we ever tell you, Allah? <coughs> Not porridge, ma'am. It's too hot for porridge. Eat and be thankful. Yolo, eat up. Come on, we'll buy some more horses, Yolo. No, they don't make them like this anymore. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Look what you made me do. I can't myself. What have I said about knives? Let's have a look. No. I know. What a fuss. <laughs> My horses are all broken. Dear, dear, you alone. What a shame. Wait, can you come to tea? Well, I, I'm, I'm just going to go Please. Oh, OK, then. Emily, could you tell my men where I've gone? Sure. Oh, thanks. So who was looking at the horse before it bolted? Catching it turned her back. Was Evan? 
I don't know. Perhaps when he was hurt when he had that fall. What do we know? Part of him well part of him cried out. So sadly. Yet he didn't make a sound. And you don't make sense. So Evanthea frightened her hopes. So Evanthea did some silent crying. Don't tease, Gwen. I'm not. A very strange man. Are you sure he's your cousin? I've been thinking he's a prince. Poi. Or Braikido. Or maybe a king. Arthur. Or, or Bran. No, not Bran. Mission. Prince of Madness in the Dark. Please, Captain, come with me now and see for yourself. I do want to, Michael. You must. Cat, he's been ridden half to death, and surely the God whoever did it had a mind to kill him. Not now. Please understand. I do not. You'll come with me. I need you. Leave it alone, boy. What's this? So your uncle's the boss now, is he? He's not my uncle. How are you, Gwyn Griffiths? Oh, thanks. And did you find your toy? It wasn't a toy. Michael, wait! Princes. My mother's descended from the kings of Munster. So that could account for. What, Gwen? Account for what? Oh, nothing. Just ancient enmities. Michael's Irish. Evan's Welsh. <laughs> Knows where there were thorns in his hair and mountain flowers. They rode him onto his knees, kicked him till he was more dead than alive. But who? It has to be a madman. It's terrible. I'm sorry. Will he die? You haven't told me properly about Evan. There's nothing to tell. Evan's father, Di, was my mother's half-brother. Right. And Di had another son, Emrys, who was fierce and brave and fell out of a tree and died. And then Evan, who was gentle before, became like him. Gwyn, he was wounded in Belfast. But he has no scars. Mia, will you come tonight with me tomorrow? So someone stole a horse. Well, horses have been stolen before. Yeah, but not nearly half killed like this one. And Yola's toy horses. Smashed to pieces. What happened to Evan in Ireland? How was he wounded, Mia? Do you know? Dad found out. Evan was searching a warehouse with his men for bombs. One went off and set the place on fire. Evan brought out two men, badly burned. But then he went back in and the place blazed up. Everyone thought Evan was dead. But when the fire died down, they find him under some girders. Unconscious. Alive. But with no wounds. Evanition threw himself into a fire. That was different. Hush now. Gwyn. Where's your wooden horse? Mine, it's lost. You must find it. Mia, you have your part to play, too, to save your prince. 
He's good and gentle, and he is all alone. With an axe. Oh, so horrible. A small axe. Very precise. They defiled my creature. They hacked at its ears, its eyes, its tail. They cracked my unicorn's lovely gold eyes. But why? Why indeed? Could it be drunks? So very precise. Vandals. What will they do next? No, not vandals, nor drunks. It, it, it was it was like a ritual. I, don't ask me how, but I, I could I could feel the deed still there. I, I, I could smell it. Terrible thing to happen. Down in our own town. To happen anywhere. Tell me, little one, why aren't you smiling? Don't you like this place? Oh, yes, but... Then why so sad? I'm not sad. That is... What? I'm thinking of Michael and his horse. Oh, forget him. You'll find another horse. Forget the boy. You're with me now. should have told you where they were going. Where have you been till this hour? To the sea. It was lovely, like magic. You had no right keeping the child out so late. Dad, I am 16. And very hungry. Warm for you, Ivan. Oh, Catherine, I wish you hadn't stayed out quite so late. I mean, you've got a music exam soon. Still, I suppose the sea air was good for you. I'm sure. I've never seen Abadovi so, so beautiful. Shouldn't you be in bed? Let me buy. Did he kiss you? Kiss. Did he? Did he? Shh. And what if he did? He's not a goblin. I'm not bewitched. Did he kiss you? I'll never tell. Now let me pass. Evan, when are you going to take me to the sea? Ooh. One day, child. I'm not a child. You haven't changed a bit. You have. <laughs> you were just a boy when I last saw you. And I don't remember your hair so red. Yeah. Do you like it? My chestnut soldier. Mm -hmm. I meant the colour, not the tree. Of course. I've been waiting for you, Evan. A long time. I thought you would have forgotten me by now. You're not an easy person to forget, Evan. <laughs> Flatterer. 
No. We have a great deal to talk to each other about. Have we? Why don't you come in and have a cup of tea? Another day, perhaps. I'm expected back at Betty's for tea. They get cross if I'm late. Nia, so foolish. She looks happy enough. She likes that man too much. The king. When did he get Bran? Bran went son, Gwen. Ignition threw me to the fire. Ah! Hi, Bran. Hi, Bran. What's it like to be a soldier? It depends who you are. But... But being who you are. Glorious. Glorious. It's all so changed. A soldier is a hero to half the world. And the other half would rather be without us. <laughs> like that man. <laughs> Absolute. How can it settle? It's near for one thing. She worries me. She's getting so entangled with Evan. It's almost as if she were in love with him. It's so silly. And he's almost old enough to be a father. She's safe with Evan. Nine. It's not what he seems. Are any of us? You'll find that wooden horse, Gwyn. He is at the heart of it all.
be on me. Laurie's dead. Like McGuin's horse. No. Michael blames me. I don't know why. He's so cruel now. He won't talk to me. And he's even got another girl. Well, maybe. Evan. He has been taking you around a lot lately. He took you last time. Don't tell anyone near. Of course not. Gone. Ah, Glennis, I put two pounds of sausages in with the lamb. You wanted some suet as well. Thank you, you yes, that's lovely. lovely. Your law, why don't you go out for a bit of fresh air? You've been sat on your backside there all morning. Tell you what, come and give me a hand in the shop. You can do the wrapping up. Oh, thank you, Bessie. Ma'am. Yes, sir. Mrs. Griffiths. Um, Mrs. Griffiths. Could I come and stay with you, please? Yeah. Please, please. Yeah, you can't ask. It's rude. Please, just for the weekend. Of course you can come here. Oh, I'm sorry, Mia's not even. Oh, it's all right, Betsy. You know I like to have a girl about the house. Well, I would be grateful. It's Catherine that needs the attention at the moment. Mum, could I go too? I don't know what's happened to my family. They're so rude. Could you, please? I'd be glad to have the both of them, Betty. Go and get your things, then I'll take you now. He's harmless enough now. The day we lost it, I knew there was danger. If Nishin is always waiting for a chance to get out, always waiting for the moment when the Keeper's guard might be down. I thought I trapped him. Arianwin's been aware. But... If Nishin has been calling out to Evan for a long time now, Evan's life is almost an echo of his own. A Lear who's not a Lear? A man who's the opposite of his own brother. But Evan is a good man, and he's a hero. Perhaps, but when Evan was a child, he was jealous of his brother. And maybe that envy opened the way for Evnishin to take over. I suppose he tried to sacrifice himself in the fire, like Evnishin did. But the dark soul of Evnishin caught hold of him, and he came out unharmed. Hatred is a dreadful, powerful force. I'm afraid, Nia that your prince may be possessed. No. This is an ancient land. Ghosts are at home here. They can slip into our lives. But I know our chestnut soldier will fight the violence he's inherited. Are you so sure? I mean, he mutilated the unicorn. He broke Yolo's toy horses and he, he killed Glory. Poor man. I mean, whose side are you on? He seems to be enjoying his new soul, enjoying doing the evil things. He is trying to fight back, Gwyn, and you should help him. So what do I do with this? You'll know I found it. Show it to him. Tell him who you are. Tell him that you'll help him. Um, what about me? Well, isn't this man your prince? Love will play its part. You cast your spell too soon, Gwydion Gwyn, and now there is danger. You must be strong. Both of you. Yolo. How do you like your cousin Evan? I don't. Not much. Why? He was nice to me once. And now, he never has time. It's as if I don't exist. 
Yolo, will you do something for me? What? Keep an eye on Evan. Check where he goes. But don't let him know what you're doing. Why? I think he broke your toy horses and Evelyn's unicorn. And I believe he may be responsible for Glory's death. So will you do it? Yes, I will. Nettle tea. I love nettle tea. Wonderful. Nobody else does. Uh, perhaps I love it because it belongs to ancient times. I feel as if I've been here before. Not as a boy. Something more recent. Yes, a little while ago. In disguise, perhaps. Disguise? And in a more destructive mood. Destructive? No, never. I can't quite remember. Better not to try to. I can remember being here with my brother before he died. Hold on to that. Hold on to the happy memories. They can help you. But they seem to be slipping away, as if they don't belong to me. Nine? Where are you? The memories are yours. Hold on to them. I can't say it, but I may need your help. Hello, T. Bren. It's me, Gwen. He's just gone out, alone. I'm going to follow him. No, wait. Yola? Evan loved it. When he was here, what did you talk about? His childhood. He was a sweet-natured child. Oh, there you are, Gwen. Have you seen Yola? Yola? His I... mother's been on the phone. She's frantic. He left the house after tea and he hasn't come home. Gwen, do you know something? Uh, um, no. No, I don't. Emlyn Llewellyn saw him last. He went past the chapel toward the mountain about half past six. They phoned the police and... Finish! We're getting out of search party, right? I'll see you later. Dad, wait for me. Well, there's no need for you. I've got to go. Right again, 
Val. Gwyn, go and tell her. Get Manda in for an ambulance. Is he dead? Move, Gwyn! If he's still alive, he needs help quickly. It's my fault. Move, will you, man? Hello! He's found! He's found! What's that? He's found. He's Where? Found. Found. Go down by the road. He's in the quarry. He's in the quarry, boy! This way! Is, is he? He's okay. Oh. Really okay. He's concussed, they think. Maybe some bones broken, but alive. What's wrong, Gwyn? It's just... I feel sort of responsible. How can you feel that? I mean, what is going on, Gwyn? I'll tell you later. Look, I'm going home. Do you want to walk with me? No, it's okay. I'd better wait for Dad. Said a boy, not generally good into mischief, to fall from there. I mean, that's barbed wire at the top. <laughs> he might have fallen into the water, oh. and then doesn't bear. Left. Well, Forward. can't do any more here, so I'll make tracks. Ah, I don't know. What's up to Emlyn? The Emlyn! It was my fault. I asked Yola to keep an eye on Evan, to follow him. But that was foolish, Gwyd Young Gwyn. Yeah, well, I didn't mean him to go on the mountain at night. The boy was doing what you asked of him. Yeah, OK, now. But how was I to know Evan would trick him, would lead him along the cliff top? You have no right to say that. No right at all. Then how did he fall, Nine? There's a barbed wire fence at the top of the quarry. Dad keeps it in good repair. Yola couldn't have gone over on his own. You're not making sense. Have you told the lawyers about your last phone call? No. Well, come on, you've got to tell them everything, do you know? Gwyn has got something to say to you. Yola phoned me. Louder. Yola phoned me. He phoned you? Before he went out. Why weren't we told? Did he say where he was going? He was going to follow Major Thier. It was a silly game. There was someone else the boy followed. Not me. Who then? Ask your boy. I will. When he's well enough. You'd better get going, Ivor. It's past yeah. midnight. Yes, yes. yes. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. No stars. No stars. Good night. Bye then. Well, thanks again, boys. Good night. Good night. Bye. No star, Tylee Griffiths. No star. There, you see? He hasn't forgotten his Welsh. He never had any at all, as far as I remember. Oh, I'm sure he did. Little things. Yeah, uh, well, uh, no star, ma'am. No star. Evan's car isn't here. How did he get up here without it? And only get back? He probably left it at the bottom of the hill. Now, come on, Gwen. I think you should be a torment in bed. Good night, Nine. Good night. Hi. Hi. Oh, great. Another unicorn. Yes. He'll rise like the phoenix. He's Caradog, the unbowed Celt. If they defile him, I'll create another, and another, and another. Okay, okay. Don't get carried away. I came to ask a favour. So? Well, uh, could you carve me a soldier, like they are today? You know, camouflage jacket and all that. Life size? Don't be daft. About that size. Small enough to go in your pocket. What's it for? 
Well, it's a piece of magic. Who's getting carried away now, then? You know, healing magic. Chestnut tree. Oh, great. Another <laughs> chestnut soldier. Dad lopped it a while ago, so it's seasoned. We use it for making toys. But then this soldier won't be a toy, will he? No. Shall I paint him? Copper streaks and all. Oh, wow, yeah. How long will it take? About three evenings. Gwyn, I know what you're up to. But these things need doing gently. You can't just cast the man into the depths of anger. You want him cured, not dead. Yeah, you're right. I'll watch it. You won't... I won't breathe a word. Be careful, Gwen. Thanks. Star, Gwydion Gwyn. What's with that? Catching trout out of season, Major Thier. It's against the law. And will you betray me then? How will they punish me? I won't tell. <laughs> I, uh, promised nine a fish for tea. Shall we walk there together? Why not? Oh. So beautiful. So old. Our legends, our myths were born of this landscape. And we are part of it all. Yes. Your Lord, can you remember why you're on that cliff? No. But Gwyn says you were following heaven. No. It was a game, but the spirits played a trick on me. Spirits? What spirits, Cariad? I saw one shining. Here. And here. Are you sure it wasn't your cousin Evan? No. It wasn't anything real. Well, you're right. I was standing here, watching my brother climbing. And noting every move he made so that I should remember and repeat his route. And then he fell. I thought he was diving into my soul. Is it Martaili as an on here? Another that, yeah? Be careful what you do with it. Avlon of the Kerry Gario Castier Castan Ermonia High, a Miller Milline. Places doesn't your lot tell us what happened instead of going on about spirits all the time? 
Don't start again, Miss Dean. I've had about enough, you know. What with all this quarrelling, one thing and another. You like the accent? You look as if you've been ravaged by the hounds of hell. Quiet. Shut up. Catherine, language. All of you, shut up. Please, don't you think you could be a bit more sensitive? Mum, I am sensitive. You think she's the only sensitive one? Just because she's artistic, I've got feelings. Look, quiet, quiet. You're all working too hard. It's exams, this, exams that. It's not fair. See what you've done with your shouting. <laughs> fire in the cellar. There are no lights anywhere. Is it the end of the world, Dad? No. It's a disturbance, that's what it is. Weather patterns been all wonky. It'll soon change. I hope so, yes. I hope you're right. Hailstones. How can it hell when it's so hot? Dad, they might like cold. That's not possible. Let's have a look. Nia, be careful on the stairs now. Soldier, his dreams must be burning him up. Who did that then? 
Terrible twins. Oh, don't joke. I had a job to know how to do breakfast this morning. It was an earthquake address. Never. Well, what else? Were you drinking last night, Justin? Sheep dip? It was a bad storm, not quick. But can you do anything with it, Idris? Yeah, indeed I can. It's going to be a joy to work on such a lovely old piece. Okay, first, let's get the dress off it. Yes, didn't take the other side, see what we can do. Right. Alan, give us a push in the middle, eh? Hey, you two, get out of it. I feel as though I know Adnishan almost as well as I'd know a friend. That fire in the house was his nightmare, wasn't it? It was real. No, Nia's right. It was his nightmare. But which one? Was he dreaming of the fire that killed his friends in Ulster? Or that other one nearly 2,000 years ago? Very well. So Evan has been taken over by some old Celtic prince. So he is reliving horrible memories. Trying to murder Yolo, stealing Catherine, been in our house. OK, OK, so what do we do about it? What now? Near Vothar. Look at this. Are you all right? Mm. It's not him. It's not Evan. Who is snooping on the stairs? So what do we do now, then? Something quite impossible. Evan is fighting me through Evan. Am I to take that then? I don't understand. So good, young Gwen. Welcome. You know the story of Evnishan and his brother Nishan. How they were so close, they were almost like two sides of the same man. You know how Evnishan swept his brother into his wild, mad life. You know the wicked things Evnishan did. Yes. It was I, Gwydion who trapped him in the wooden horse. He was stranded outside the other world, where all the great warriors live, when almost by accident I trapped him. That mad prince is my nephew. Yeah, now he's free again. I know, boy. Why else would you be here? So what must I do? Whatever you do, you must not act in anger. <laughs> I'm afraid of magic. Everything I do turns on me. My decisions are useless. I make too many mistakes. Magic is never straightforward. It's like life. But isn't it fun to leap in the dark? <laughs> now, boy, take my ash wand.
What do you make of it? I like the feel of it. It rings through my hand like, like music. May I give you this in exchange? I will keep it safe. Good John. Will Evnisha never be happy? Can I help him back into the other world? You have already taken the first step, good young Gwyn. Uh, project at school. You're not poorly, are you, Gwen? No, no, just a bit woozy. Sleeping too long in the daytime. <sighs> Must have walked a fair bit, Ariane. When? Oh no. You tricked me, Gwydion. How old am I? Two thousand years? Now will I be strong enough to fight the prince? Or will I crumble into dust when he touches me? What's wrong? I don't know. He's got flu, maybe. to the shops. <coughs> Leah. Mm -hmm. I suppose I look quite ordinary to you, do I? Well, you've never looked absolutely average. Yeah, but you'd recognise me. You're a bit weird, but yes, I'd know you. Please don't shout. I'm not shouting. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> look, Gwen, are you going to help us? To get things sorted with you know. I know what to do, but it's up to you as well. What do you mean? Well, tomorrow's Saturday. Catherine will be rehearsing with the choir. Yeah. I want you to tell Evan that she wants to meet him by the bridge. Tell him it's urgent. Will you believe me? Me, me I know dithering, please. He's got to be at the bridge. You want to get things sorted, don't you? Yes, but I... I'll put things right. <coughs> what time must I... At dusk. I've got to go. I've got arrangements. Thank you. Great, nettle tea. <laughs> so you've been to the other world. And you met. I certainly did. Mm. And you brought something of him back with you, I think. I am so happy for you, Gwydion Gwyn. I'll tell you something, Nine. Gwydion can blunder, like me. Well, nobody's perfect, not even magicians. But it's fun to leap in the dark, he says, and he's right. You speak of him in the present. Well, he's here, isn't he? Oh, I promise you, it's not a burden anymore, being a magician. <laughs> well, well. Look, Nine, it's in my reflection. 
Oh, I can't see anything except my own grandson. I don't have the magic. Oh, pity. You'd like him. But he breathes through me and laughs inside my head and makes me feel very old. Has he told you how to solve your problem? Well, he's given me the means and I know what to do. You won't harm our chestnut soldier, will you, Gwyn? Well, like I said, I'm leaping in the dark. I'll save the Lloyd and I'll trap Evnishin. But as for Evan, I just can't tell. Not everyone can win. You know that, Nine. Yes, I know. But you will try not to cause him any more pain. I can't promise anything. No, I only asked for you to try. OK, I'll try. <laughs> oh, I wish it would stop raining. The river's very full. Oh, I should think it would close its banks. Did anyone notice it? It could be dangerous. Ma'am, are you, are you going to the hospital to see Arlo? Oh, I've got some sweets for him. Have you been to see him, Evan? I'm sure he'd like to see you. He really... Maris Lloyd. You talk too much, my dear. Plain girls like you should hardly be seen and certainly not heard. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, what's happened to Evan? He's like another person. He's ill, Karen. Is it the wound? Perhaps. Will he get better? Oh, yes, he must. Coming to see you alone now, Karen. No, Come. no, Mum, you go. I'll stay here, Karen. Catherine, don't forget, you've got choir practice at six. Going into town. Mr. Huan has given me a lift. I know where you're going with young Gwyn. Take care. Courage. at me. Catherine. She's waiting for you on the bridge. It's urgent, she says. Come on.
Forgive me, Evans here. I don't hate you. You killed my cousin, Gwen Griffiths. Come away from that edge. It's dangerous. fell in the water. I couldn't save him. He's my cousin. I went clear. Then he's gone, girl. That flood would take the strongest man alive. <laughs> Come then, let's go home. We'll send a party down the river, see if he can be found. those little sacrificial figures the Celts used to make to heal their owners. But Evanishan fought it and brought that storm to your house. I wanted to save him. Well, you'll never save him now. But he is saved. Look. Is it the same when? What happened? It's beautiful. After he'd gone into the river, the horse began to kick in my hands. It seemed to reach every part of me, with its hooves and its teeth and its bony head. But I held on. I had to soak up all that anger. The pain knocked me out. And when I came to, my hands were really bleeding. But I found this. Avnishen's anger is spent. He's a hopeful prince now, riding through the world. I think I saw him go. Well, you may have saved Renishan, but you lost Evan. No, he's not lost. He managed to swim ashore down river. He didn't know his name for a while. Luckily, Yala saw him in the hospital and told the doctors who he was. safe. So all is well. And now we can have our party. I'd like to thank you for your hospitality. I am deeply sorry for any trouble I have caused. Your cousin, Evan. Does he say when he's coming again? When he's better. I miss him, and so does Nia. Mum, can I keep the card? Come in. Oh, Lion, it's a beautiful dress. For our party. <laughs> Come and sit down. Oh, Evan liked that head. Oh, how 
fine <laughs> he's looking. By keeping him safe. No one else will. He's out there, Nine. All alone. No. Not quite all alone. Your thoughts are with him. Nine, he left hospital before we could see him. He thought we'd rather he didn't exist. But we were his family. I wish I could tell him I'm sorry. Oh, I think he knows. Then why didn't he tell us where he is? Or oh, if he's well. Be patient. Gwyn saved Ignition. He got him to the other world. Why can't he use his magic to help my cousin? You are helping him. He will feel your love. How? Oh, there are ways and ways, child. Love. You let him rest. Your greatest oh, achievement ever to bring peace to the Dark Prince. No one else could have done it. I'll never need to hide him ever again. I shan't need magic for a while now. Adrian will be my peaceful friend. I won't use the seaweed or the scarf to bring back my sister. I'll let her stay where she's happiest. What happened to the pipe, Gwyn? I exchanged it for the ash wand. It feeds me. It gives me so much energy. Oh, I wish you could spare some of that energy for your friend there. She does look a bit weary. I never knew a child so loyal. But she'll be rewarded. Nine. What have you planned? Nothing. Nothing. Go on. Go and join the game. Van Fleer has come to trouble you again. 